So one of the most frequently asked questions we get here at the Castillo is, why here? Well, the Castillo de San Marcos is built on prime real estate. The reason being is what's just off the coast. Those Spanish galleons loaded with gold, silver, and spices from South America and the Caribbean left from Havana, Cuba, and made their way up the Gulf Stream. Now, that Gulf Stream is moving at three to five miles an hour, but it is very narrow along the Bahama Channel. Now, that makes it prime territory for pirates. The first pirate attack in St. Augustine was in 1586 by Francis Drake, his 42 ships, and 2,000 men. Now this way outnumbered the Spanish here in St. Augustine, so they did what they could. They buried their cannon and they ran off into the woods. But they did so in such a hurry that they forgot about the king's coffer, their treasury, their pay, leaving it behind. Now after Drake had done what he wanted to, not finding much in the way of valuables, burning the city, he left St. Augustine. The next pirate attack happened in 1668. And this was Robert Searles. He only came in with about 100 people, but St. Augustine really didn't have the defenses that it needed. So Robert Searle, after having his way with the city, had left it almost untouched. After these pirate attacks and several other attempts, St. Augustine realized the need for a strong masonry fortification. After the 1702 siege, St. Augustine's defenses would be upgraded. The Kubo Line, a wall protecting the north of St. Augustine, would be built out of palm logs and would have a small ditch. Another wall would be built along the San Sebastian River, and that would protect the western side of the city. The next defensive feature of the Castillo would be the Glacis, a gently sloping hill surrounding the fort. Now this hill does several different things. It keeps the base of the walls out of the line of fire. It also provides cover and concealment for Spanish troops maneuvering around outside of the fort. If you've made it this far, the next thing you have to deal with is the moat. Now, unlike many of the other moats you may see, ours is meant to be dry. You would think that being up against the walls of the Castillo would give you some sort of cover, but it doesn't. The Spanish thought about that, and the shape of this fort means no blind spots. Once all these individual defenses were brought together, the Presidio of St. Augustine never fell.